Hello, my name is Bruno Pereira and I'm delighted to walk you through Biologic's proposal to jumpstart your circular journey. Biologic is a startup founded in 2011. Our products first hit the market in 2017 and we have recently completed a scale-up in 2020. Our vision is a world free of pollution caused by the accumulation of plastic in the environment. That's a tall order, we know, and during this presentation we will share how we are going about it. Let us begin by stating we love plastics. We don't know how to support 7 billion people without plastics. But on the other side, we cannot turn a blind eye to some of the issues that put our long-term sustainability at risk. Let's talk about them. The first significant issue is we rely on finite resources for plastic manufacturing. While plastic isn't the largest oil consumer in the world, it is projected to need 20% of our fossil resources demand by 2050. That is quickly becoming a hot topic. Plastic production and usage is very efficient. It can hardly be called a problem. Even landfilling. While we don't like plastic in a landfill, it's hardly generating any environmental impact other than occupying space. It is not the end of the world. Now, leakage into the environment, which persists almost indefinitely, is a different matter altogether we are on track to significantly disrupt the delicate ocean ecosystems. Impacts to society can be daunting. Plastics in the ocean is the sustainability issue we consider more pressing than any other in today's society. So let's start talking solutions. And as we do, let's make sure we use a different mindset than the one we used when the problems were created. Our three solution package starts with adopting renewable plastics, aggressive implementation of chemical recycling, and finally, engineering plastics for reduced persistency, if unfortunately leakage to the environment. So let's look at Biologic's offering for a renewable plastic. We start with starch that is submitted to our proprietary process and converted in new plastic. That's our selling product, a 100% bio-based polymer that at this stage has a carbon neutral footprint. New plastic can then be blended with the traditional legacy resins such as polypropylene, polystyrene and polyethylene or with the compostable resins such as PBAT, PLA and PHA. Let's look at the example of new plastic in a bioblend with polyethylene. This process can be done at Biologic or our customers and consists of blending new plastic with the partner resin, in this case polyethylene, and results in the bioblend. The bioblend is ready to utilize in traditional plastic transforming processes. Benefits of adopting a bioblend include reduced use of fossil fuels, reduced greenhouse gas footprint, and maintained or even increased mechanical strength of the resulting product. Here we look at CO2 footprint, and as you see, new plastic is slightly carbon negative at Biologic's door with 1.6 kg absorption during plant growth and 1.4 kg emissions during the manufacturing and compounding process. Carbon footprint reduction can be significant, as you see in this example, with 25% new plastic, reducing the resin-related carbon footprint by 28%. And what can be even more impressive with new plastic and polyethylene combinations is that the performance of polyethylene is not only maintained, but in some cases increased, as you can see in this DART chart of pure polyeth polyethylene comparing with new plastic and polyethylene bioblends. And more importantly, this performance is good for the long run. New plastic blended with polyethylene, polypropylene or polystyrene are shelf stable. There are no 
degradation mechanisms embedded in new plastic that would reduce your shelf stability. Also worth notice is that new plastic is well beyond the R&D stage, as you can see in these commercial examples including flexible films, rigid and also agricultural biodegradable mulch. New plastic is a real-world solution for renewable content. But as we discussed in the introduction, renewable content is only the beginning of the journey. That takes us to the second solution, which is chemical recycling. And in this case, Biologic partnered with Lysella and Mura to accelerate their breakthrough CAT HTR chemical recycling technology. CAT HDR chemical recycling beats pyrolysis in that it accepts a much broader range of inputs, such as wood, mixed plastics, and tires, and about everything in between. With Biologic's investment, Lysella will be able to accelerate the scale up and hopefully build confidence to accelerate the implementation of this breakthrough technology all throughout the world. But as transformational as chemical recycling can be, to recycling, there will still be some plastics that unfortunately leak to the environment. So wouldn't it be wonderful if leaked plastics just went away? Well, sure would. But uh, shouldn't biodegrading polyethylene, polypropylene, polystyrene be impossible? Looks like the impossible just happened. This slide reports on a typical industrial composting study, where we see a positive control with cellulose biodegrading very quickly, polyethylene as negative control, not biodegrading as expected in over one year, and surprisingly, a blend with 25% neoplastic and 75% polyethylene biodegrading in as little as one year. After the surprising results, Biologic commissioned many other studies. Today we accumulate more than 50 simulations of industrial composting or anaerobic digesters with consistent results in polystyrene, polyethylene and polypropylene. The consistent results motivated us to look for further understanding as to the mechanisms Perhaps even more interesting than biodegradation was the learning that the mechanism is not fragmentation. What you see in this slide is a piece of film that was captured mid-biodegradation process and in the middle you see a cross-section of this film. We were surprised to see that at this point the film was half the original thickness and had not fragmented. As a matter of fact, we had the University of Georgia look for microplastics in the soil around the film, and there were none to be found. At this point, of course, we asked ourselves why no plastic was behaving so differently. So let's first look at a typical thermoplastic starch with polyethylene blend. It follows what we call an island in the sea type of distribution, polyethylene highlighted in green, starch in red. And as you can see in the combined image, the third from the left to the right, you have an either or type of arrangement. In this type of arrangement, it's believable that starch domains may be consumed by microorganisms, but then the polyethylene will be left. Now let's look at a typical neoplastic with polyethylene blend. As you can see, like a normal thermoplastic starch, it looks like an island in the sea kind of arrangement. But unlike the normal thermoplastic starch, the sea of polyethylene is full of starch. Neoplastic and polyethylene seems to blend at a molecular level. We are currently working with world-renowned biologists to further understand and describe the mechanisms. But Biologic is not satisfied with lab results. We have invested over $1 million to understand biodegradation in the open environment. The picture you see is one of our 300 samples in the actual ocean in Brazil. Additional to this partnership with the University of Sao Paulo, 
we have efforts with leading professors in the US and Japan. Nuplastic is opening a world of possibilities for accelerating polyolefin biodegradation, to which we are just scratching the surface. Nuplastic with polyethylene, polypropylene, polystyrene cannot possibly be worse than the pure polymers if unfortunately leaked to the environment. We at Biologic have our foot on the ground in that we understand that biodegradation is just the last line of defense. We much prefer reduce, reuse, and recycle. But given some amount of plastic will unfortunately continue to be leaked, we believe in engineering for reduced environmental persistence. Now, we don't think that no plastic is perfect, solves all problems, applies to all cases, or beats all others. But we do know that no plastic can make plastics better today. Please join us and jumpstart your circularity journey. Thank you.